by show of hands, how many of you brushed your teeth this morning? Now keep your hands up if you brushed your tongue. That's good, I'm sure your neighbor next to you is happy. <laughs> there are over 650 bacteria that live in the human mouth, and many of them live on the tongue. There's dead skin, hair, there's dead skin cells, food, plaque, and debris, all living on the human tongue. 75% of mouth odors actually come from the human tongue. So let me offer you a tip from the geriatric tooth fairy. This is my big healthy mouth and my blinged out toothbrush. Now many of you raised your hand and said that you brush your tongue. When you brush your tongue, you're just kind of massaging around all of that food, debris, and bacteria on your tongue. You're not actually removing it out of your mouth. But when you use a tongue scraper, you're actually removing the food, the plaque, and the debris off of your tongue. Doing this resets your palate and it allows your food to have a more tastier flavor. It also reduces 75% of the mouth odors. In addition, it boosts your immune system. Now, being the geriatric tooth fairy, I can't put anything under your pillow, but I can offer everyone a tongue, a tongue scraper from me today. You'll have it as a gift. Use it and make your mouth proud. Thank you. Growing up, I always loved to smile. To me, a smile was the gift that you can give away and still keep for yourself, and it was absolutely free. I remember being a little girl about six or seven years old, I made up a game. I would stare at people until they smiled. And I would keep staring until they smiled back. And I felt good because I knew that I was giving them a piece of me. I realized that the people that were the proudest of their teeth, they smiled back. And that sparked my admiration for a healthy smile. Now, my second admiration came from the love of my, my grandmother, and that's the love of aging adults. My grandmother was my aspiration. She was my mentor. She was my everything. So because of my love for aging adults and because of my healthy smiles, that's why I've been a proud dental hygienist for over 27 years. And I coupled my love for my grandmother and my love for smiles together and I started taking care of elderly people's teeth. My grandmother was my motivation. She was my mentor. I spent every summer with her, gleaming from her infinite wisdom. She would tell me, Sonia, a smile is something you can give away and still keep for yourself, and not everyone has a reason to smile. So give them one. She encouraged me to capture more smiles. I would sit on her porch and listen to her talk. I remember her telling me that being able to age is a gift that not everyone receives. As I begin to age, that makes more sense to me. My grandmother was the last ice, snow ice cream maker in the neighborhood. She birthed seven children, but she helped raise over 70. Everybody in the neighborhood would hang out over my grandmother's house. She was the strongest woman I knew. I always promised my grandmother that I would take care of her. As she continued to age, her health began to decline. She developed type 2 diabetes, and she had to have one of her legs amputated. My grandmother was a heavy smoker all of her life. She developed congestive heart failure. She had to wear the oxygen tank on her nose and the tank on the back of her wheelchair. Her health continued to decline, and my family, we, we couldn't take care of her at home anymore. That really bothered all of us, but we had to place her in a nursing home. That was one of the hardest decisions we had to make. Because as a child, I always promised her that I would never put her in a nursing home. But that was a promise I couldn't keep, and I was riddled with guilt. But me being the granddaughter I was, I went to visit her every day. I made sure that they was taking care of her, her personal needs. Being a dental hygienist, I made sure her mouth was clean daily. I remember one day I was up taking care of my grandmother's teeth. She had a, her, her dentures. She had a, a roommate who had never spoken to me. She would always just stare at everything I did with my grandmother. But that one particular day, she kind of waved me over. And I went over to her bed and, and, I, and I leaned down. She said, baby, 
will you brush my teeth? My teeth don't come out like your grandmother's. I said, of course I'll brush your teeth. I was gonna brush it at that very moment, but I realized that she didn't even have a toothbrush. The very next day, I purchased her a toothbrush and I came to brush her teeth. When she opened her mouth, it kind of surprised me. It looked like no one had been in her mouth in almost two and a half weeks. When I brushed her teeth, flossed them, and cleaned her tongue, she was so happy, she gave me the biggest smile. She allowed me to capture her smile. Every day when I went to visit my grandmother, additional seniors would come in requesting me to take care of their teeth or dentures. Of course I would do it. Before I knew it, I was picking up dozens of toothbrushes just to take in to take care of people's teeth. One day, it was a little more than usual. The line was a little heavier of people coming in. And I, I looked around and I couldn't spot my grandmother anywhere. I, I was like, where's my grandmother? I looked outside her door, and to my surprise was a line of wheelchairs, walkers, and canes. It was like a parade of seniors, and they're waiting on me to clean their mouth. I said, let me find my grandmother. I went looking for my grandmother, and sure enough, she was outside, leaned back in her wheelchair, smoking a cigarette. Now with the oxygen on, smoking, like a choo-choo train. I immediately went over to my grandmother, I said, Grandmother, what are you doing? You're going to blow this place up. She leaned over to me and said, well, I was telling everybody if, if they wanted my granddaughter to clean their teeth, they need to give me two cigarettes. She was bartering me out for two cigarettes. I thought to myself, I'm not least worth a whole pack. <laughs> my grandmother was a very resourceful woman. She always had a way of getting what she wanted. Time went on, my grandmother's health continued to decline, and she died. That was so hard for me. But that sparked something in me, because I remember the deplorable condition the people's mouth was in in a nursing home and why I was helping them. So with my love for my grandmother and my love for healthy smiles, it was natural for me to marry those two together, seniors and smiles. So to honor my grandmother's legacy, I started providing oral care in nursing homes in my city. I want to share one of the stories with you. I remember walking into one of the nursing homes. As soon as I walked in, the CNA ran over to me. Sonia, Sonia, we have a lady that's been here five and a half months. She has dementia, and her mouth has a horrible odor, and we can't get in it. Can you see her? I said, of course, of course. I'll see her. After I made my rounds, that was my last stop. As soon as I went to the door, the smell hit me, kind of pushed me back. It smelled like rotten meat. But when I opened the door, to my surprise, there sat a, the sweetest looking little lady. She was in a wheelchair. She couldn't have weighed about no more than 80 or 90 pounds. She was about 89 years old. She was the cutest little person you ever wanted to see. Her hair was parted down the middle right here, and she had two of the longest, prettiest, grace French braids I ever seen. When I walked over to her, I immediately noticed that there was a language barrier. It took me about 15 minutes for her to trust me enough to let me into her mouth, just working back and forth with her, coercing her. When she opened her mouth, what I seen changed my life forever. Those were her dentures. They were covered in food, debris, plaque, and yes, black mold. The worst thing is, the gum tissue under the dentures were red, beefy, and raw like hamburger meat. That could have been my grandmother. Tears of pain and shame rolled down her face. No human being should have to live like that. No aging, frail adult should ever, ever have to have something like that in their mouth. There are over 20 systemic diseases and sicknesses directly linked to poor oral care. Our mouth is the window to our health. Think about it. When we go to our physical doctor, the first place they look is in our eyes 
in our ears and in our mouth. If our mouth isn't healthy, our whole body isn't healthy. Bacteria enter our body through our bloodstream. Through our bloodstream, sicknesses and diseases can come in our body. Diseases such as stroke, heart disease, and dementia. There has been a study conducted that showed the bacteria in gum disease called P. gingivitis, T. P. gingivalis, is directly linked to dementia. Gum disease is linked to dementia. So no elderly adult should have to live with poor oral care and gum disease. Aspirated pneumonia is the number one reason why seniors in nursing homes go to the hospital. It's the number one reason that sends seniors in nursing homes to the ER. The CDC, the Center for Disease Control, reported in 2016 that 1.7 million people went to the ER because of pneumonia. You ready for this? 45,000 were over 65 and died from pneumonia, aspirated pneumonia. And the sad thing is, is that aspirated pneumonia is 100% preventable with proper oral care in most cases. No senior should die from poor oral care. So who's responsible for taking care of the seniors in long-term care facilities? It's the certified nursing assistants, CNAs. Now, I want to be crystal clear right here. Anyone who takes care of an aging adult is a hero. It takes a lot of selfless commitment to take care of an aging adult, all of their medical and physical needs. So CNAs, I take my hats off to them because I don't even think I could do their job. Where the disappointing part is, is their educational component. In most of their manuals, oral care is only on one page, and it's coupled next to hair combing and nail clipping. Oral care is just as important as wound care or taking medication. I'm committed to um, raising the awareness of oral care for CNAs in long-term care facilities. They need more training. So we can prevent death of our seniors. Oral care helps prevent our seniors from dying and drowning in a sea of systemic linked diseases directly linked to oral care. A toothbrush can help save their lives. So what am I doing? 2019, we delivered over 2,000 oral care products to seniors directly in long-term care facilities. We also were able to provide oral care training to over 4,000 people to include CNAs, senior caregivers, and seniors themselves in community centers. We also developed an app called Connecting Seniors to Smiles, when a dental office can actually adopt a nursing home and we train the staff how to provide care on a regular basis, connecting seniors directly to smiles. My request of you, know the nursing homes in your community. So many people don't even know where the nursing homes are in their own neighborhood, and they're nestled in our neighborhoods. We turn a blinded eye to seniors. Just because someone's older don't mean they have to fade. Because if we're blessed, we'll get there one day. Because memory is a gift. You can donate supplies to nursing homes, such as toothbrushes and toothpaste. Even if they don't need it, it lets them know that someone's paying attention. Spread this message to help bring awareness to people that they need help. My purpose and passion in life has collided with my profession as a dental hygienist. And I'm here today to be the voice for those who voice, 
who has become a whisper. Thank you.